What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Dragon Ball video now in this video We are on the free-to-play count because I am grinding and stuff like that. I just logged on uh, But there is some awesome exciting stuff and I probably should have anticipated this uh, But exploding gratitude Dokkan thank you celebration is here and this brings a plethora of amazing things, right? So let's go over it as fast as possible and kind of review it um, Because with the thank you celebration, there's a couple of things that I need to kind of further explain uh, for any new people and just kind of give my personal opinion so let's go over it so first thing foremost the you know resurrection blues they're okay i'm not gonna sit here and say that they're bad because they're genuinely not but they lack in red zone you know what i'm saying like characters have to be judged by the most difficult content or else they're not that good sure super battle Road and extreme super battle Road still matter but in realistically, you want a character that's good in the most difficult stage because they will always be good everywhere else, for the most part. Uh, these guys did not age well um, in comparison to everything else that came out around the time that they came out and then later on, right? Um, but they're not bad. Um, they're decent. They're good, right? Vegeta especially is way better than Goku, right? So um, for sure, if you do go for them, good luck. Do I recommend not? Do I recommend to summon them? No. Uh, just because the hero celebrations out dude gamma one and two is still out right now So and they're drastically better than them, right? Vegeta and trunks are gonna come out within a month or so, right? So there's a lot of things and who knows beast gohan all that shit orange piccolo. We don't know right um Then the step up banner at the end of the year for new years and stuff. There's a lot right um, so this is probably an easy skip for most people, but if you do like these guys do whatever you want the game is supposed to be fun and if you would enjoy getting them then go for it right i will personally be summoning for them on my main account because you know i'm a very small whale very baby whale um so i will be you know buying the tickets and throwing some summons and hopefully i get them they're pretty cool if i did uh so let's go on and do so just generic stuff login bonuses missions the dokkan you know festival jocko comes he's actually a pretty good banner unit he's a good dodging character uh premium dokkan tickets so just you know tickets right uh, Perunga Dragon Ball campaign. This is awesome. With the thank you celebration comes the Perunga Dragon Balls. And this is by far one of the best times and one of the best things to be, ever be introduced to, to Dokkan in general. To give people a big jump and a head start for how to, um, to get a whole bunch of stuff, dude. To get, you know, to get training items, to get training locations to get stones to get kais to get orbs like this is very very good this is a huge like instant boost to stuff money all that stuff right um so every single day for the next week uh and for the next three weeks there's going to be three sets of Perunga brawls that you'll be able to get it's going to be very exciting you're going to be able to get a whole bunch of stuff within those wishes it kind of goes to the second point you're going to be able to get more of these gift cards i don't recommend this because there's just better options for you but Again, it's completely up to you. I can only give them my recommendation. It's up to you to follow it if you want to. Um, but I'll go over. I'll make a video once all seven come out. And then we'll do the wish. And then I'll get all three. And then we'll go over the options and all this fun stuff, right? So just kind of a thing to talk about. Um, but if making making seven separate videos, I don't really want to do that. So I'll just make one to talk about all of them. So you can see all of them, right? And we'll go over each one. Uh, and then the thank you celebrate and there's like no real way for me to save this because they're all super generic So it's like anything I do like I'll, I'll get one or two of them. You know what I'm saying? So th That kind of falls into it, right? Unless I super avoid it, but then I'm not gonna have no fun playing the game uh, For the thank you sub so they do this every year where you're able to get free characters, right? Uh, with a vast array of characters you can get there's a lot of there's some good ones and then there's a lot of bad ones there's a lot of old ones and then some newer easy a's so there's a mix of it and i'm i'm only gonna give you my like my top i would say i'm gonna say eight right because i like the number eight I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you my top eight or maybe i'll give you my top 10 right and then you can choose from there right uh but definitely go for what you don't have first so you can have a variety of characters for sure uh or get dupes for anything you don't have right for anything you want to get right uh restoration time has been dropped from eight to four which is very very nice you'll get more stamina baba shop is 30 percent off dragonstone sale thank you packs this is probably with a premium a whole bunch of stuff this all drops tomorrow morning which is very exciting i'll be doing summons uh elder kai banner dokkan event king cold is coming to global finally and he's actually really really good definitely get him done for sure 
Uh, the Ginyu Force, the free-to-play tech Ginyu Force, is finally getting their EZA, which is very, very exciting. Um, I am very, very excited about this because I don't have AGO Ginyu, uh, but I do have the Fizz, I do have ba Jason Birder, and I do have Raccoon and Guldo. So I have everything else but the big Dokkan Fest Ginyu. Like, I don't have him. Uh, so this is going to help me a lot with the Ginyu Force, at least, right? Um, and I'm very close to getting the Fizz LR Ginyu Force done, so very exciting stuff. Bunch of story missions. I just kind of want to talk about this. Uh, we need good representations for all one of these story. Like, I know LRs and cards exist from each one, sure, but we need like, like worldwide level celebrations from each one of these. I personally feel like that. Or at least something good, you know what I mean? Like a really good celebration from each one of these, right? Uh, especially the Lord Slug one. The Lord Slug has gotten no love, dude. Like, literally no love outside of some, you know, <laughs> some free-to-play easy A's, right? But each one, and I guess, the no, the Briar Broly has the uh, Goten and Trunks that came out, right? And then the Super Saiyans, uh, yeah, Broly and stuff, and then, you know, LR Turles and shit, so. And then the, uh, the LR from this one as well. But every single one of these need more representation in Dokkan. So there's still plenty of content within the game, um, within to to receive with within the game, right? And also Bojack, better Bojack celebration. I would not mind that at all. Uh, but just saying. So easy area for the low slug is coming back, which is very very nice. Super intense training, massive growth missions. Just a really good missions, generic missions you can do to get a whole bunch of top tier items, right? Which is very awesome. Uh, reward boost. So this is your stamp. This is your double your double boost for the day uh is going to be increased from three to five and it's only going to be on the weekends so just the weekends definitely use all your stamina definitely use all this right to get anything done that you want in the game uh ultimate clash is returning sunday very exciting stuff this would allow me to easy a the fizz uh what's it called the uh fizz ginyu force so awesome i think we should be getting lr int uh, Metal Cool Army with this celebration as well. I don't remember. I think that's also the case. So this would be a good, you know, if you have that. So to get that done. Uh, Angel, Int Angel Golden Frieza is getting his EZA next week. Um, he's very underwhelming. Do not summon for this banner. If you have him, just get him done. Awaken and stuff like that. And he's a, you know, Resurrected Warriors leader. So there is that. And he's Extreme Int. So there you go. Uh, but for the, for the uh, Malevolent team, the Wicked Bloodline team... Manevolent team for the wicked bloodline team terrifying conquerors resurrect warriors he, he's kind of like for resurrect warriors he's up there because he's only he's only the leader right and he's one of the better ones but that team also doesn't really have that big representation in the game either right except the bardock squad the bardock of uh, the bardock celebration that they got uh that jp got oh dude it's fantastic but um this freezer is kind of underwhelming right very bad release. I don't know why they shafted him so hard, but it is what it is. Uh, Defenders of Justice category summon. Don't summon on that. Um, it's just a bad category. I'm just saying that. The be one of the better units are the ga the, the the Gammas and Jaco. That's it. Everybody else is kind of like mid and, or sucks, right? Until we get better representations of Dos Dispo and uh, Topo, this is kind of like a throwaway, right? Challenge packs, and then his EZA, Paton Battle, a new stage of Super Battle Road, uh, more story events coming out next week, so more stuff to do, and then Super Weekend Missions, so just a whole bunch of stones, Dozing Kai's, and then prep work for a world tournament. Every time you see this, for the most part, there is always a world tournament across around the corner, so very, very exciting stuff, this one right here, and this is going to play a big part into my decision makings when it comes to the 77 units so that's all that's it for the celebration hopefully we get lr golden frieza for part two or the second part of november uh hopefully they don't delay him until next year or next month or nothing like that hopefully they just drop him right there's no point in saving him right because his banner is not the most insane thing in the world right it's it's not anything to write home about it's just a generic lr banner uh with golden frieza he's very good but again there's no reason to not drop them, honestly. So, just kind of something to talk about. Uh, so, let's go over the 77 thank you celebration uh, special characters. Let me just give you my top 10. 
uh, going from one down. So the best one out of all these, in my personal opinion, is definitely this Piccolo right here. This Piccolo from the Cooler movie. The reason why I say this is because he just recently got an easy A along with this Vegeta here. But he himself is a nuking AoE character that guaranteed crits for multiple enemies for one turn. What does that sound like? He sounds like a very, 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 very good, if not the best, character to bring for World Tournament. So getting him and easy a in him is not a bad idea. Just letting y'all know. Um, so he is my number one. My number two out of this entire list was... Let me see. Oh, dude, Weirus is here, bro? Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, I would say this Vegeta. This Vegeta is actually surprisingly good. He came out. He's decent. He's good. He's good for Super Battle Road. He's on Super Saiyan. He's on Movie Heroes. He's actually not that bad. So he's a good option. But let's go this Piccolo, this Vegeta. I would say these, this Vegito and this Vegito as kind of a tie. This 17 and this 17 as a tie as well. Angel, Go Angel, uh, I mean, Golden Frieza, not Angel Golden Frieza, uh, Golden Frieza is a very good option because of his damage reduction. He's going to age very well, right? And he works very well in the Wicked Bloodline team. He's just a good third slot character as long as you keep his, you know, eight, your HP above 40% with his EZA. Um, then I would say, you know, Weirus is a good option. I always like Berserk Kale, so I'm always going to recommend Berserk Kale. Uh, Khalifa is not bad. Mira, eh, you know what I mean? Uh, Chow Man's not bad. Uh, this Trunks isn't bad either, which is very, very good. And then I would say... Who else? Who else can I? I mean, you can never go wrong with Skinny Boo, right? Demigro would be good for Giant Form. Ribrian just got an easy A, and her event is permanently available, so getting her done... Or getting her for peppy gals in general is a very good option. So I would say that as well. But overall, just kind of go with what you don't have. But kind of prioritize this Piccolo for sure if you don't have them, right? If you already have them, then kind of go like backwards from characters you don't have, right? But it's completely up to you how you want to do this. Now, the Paronga Balls are going to have... There is going to be a wish within the Paronga Balls that... Within the Paronga Wishes, sorry. That you're going to be able to make to what's it called to get more of those tickets right i don't recommend to do that like whatsoever i do not recommend doing that um just because there's just so many better options we'll go over it once i make the video for all the prongo balls right which are all super easy to do so you'll probably get them done anyways but i'll still make a video once all seven are out for the first week and then for the second week, and then for the third week um but that's pretty much it oh there's the uh part two for the quest dokon renewal so this is basically, uh, it doesn't say here, but it's basically part dose of this area 28, right? Um, well, technically it's not part two, but it's new stages added to area 28. It's just two new stages. I didn't do a video because it's just two stages. What am I going to talk about, right? Um, it's just two stages and you're able to get a silver you're able to farm the silver skill orbs specifically for blue vegeto so there is that and you're able to get 15 more medals from him to do the second step for him and then probably in like two weeks we'll get the third part of that to get his final set right so very exciting stuff just kind of wanted to talk about that um and I've, other than that there ain't nothing else to talk about man that's pretty much it uh, oh, I guess I can show which one I'm, I'm gonna get. Um, I think I'm full on character, so I can't actually buy any of them. Yeah, I can't buy any of them. But out of all the characters that I don't have on this list, like I think I scrolled down here. Uh, I already have this Piccolo, so I'm not gonna buy this Piccolo. And I don't want to get dupes for this Piccolo because I want new characters instead of already existing characters. Um, I am gonna go ahead. Where is he? I'm gonna go ahead and buy Weirus here because I don't have Weirus at all. And he's actually a really good character. I really like Weirus on my free, on my main account, so I definitely want a copy of Weirus. So, I'll pick up Weirus and then I'll figure out what I'm gonna buy here. I'll probably just fill out and, you know, rainbow some good, some better cards of these because I think I have most of them, if not all of them, for the most part. 
right and that's also not a bad option if you want to go for rainbows on cards that you really like do that instead if you want to get five weir assists or five chow mans or five berserk kales or you know five pit five of these piccolos wouldn't be a bad idea either or just enough to get you know the rainbow of that piccolo again completely up to you it's not a bad idea because this piccolo is gonna be very good for world tournament i promise get this piccolo first if you do not have him get him awakened and i don't think his easy is out but have him he's good he's very good um you should have done that because he what he's a sub easy a for the str cooler yeah i think that's what it is um <laughs> dude it just happened and i already forgot i'm a very forgetful person uh, but get him done and get him easy aid if you don't have him, right? Because, dude, he's fantastic. He's amazing. He's 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 brilliant. I love this character so much, and I can't wait for him to use to use him on the um, world tournament squad for sure. Definitely gonna overhaul that team and figure out what I'm gonna do. But with that being said, guys, do appreciate you guys watching until the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for this? You know, celebration. Are you gonna summon for the blues? Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of summons on my main account. But none on this account. Absolutely not. Even if I had 2,000 stones, I would not summon for them. Um, just because of heroes and everything else, you know. And the gammas are still out. Dude, gamma 1 and 2 are still out until the 11th of November. So it's like, why would you summon for the blues when you can summon for this? You know what I mean? If you're going to summon for the blues and you don't have a gamma 1 and 2, you're dumb. You should summon for these guys instead. Because they're insanely good. Insanely good, dude absolutely fantastic but i'm out of here hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will catch you guys when i summon for the resurrection blues peace take care